wonderful viewers. Today I'm going to let you into a big secret. So I have a number of people who drip feed me, for some reason, with interesting information. I believe that they know a lot more than they can reveal. They want to stay behind the scenes. I'm certainly not going to reveal who they are. And it's all leading up to one thing. And that is answering the nuts and bolts questions to what actually happened at the Rendlesham Forest incident. That's why over the last few years I've been investigating lasers, plasma, synthetic aperture radar. It's all connected. So today my email went bling from an unnamed person who shared this, an article in a space review about a Russian laser blinding system which has been in development and has now been ramped up. And it's very, very interesting. It touches on a whole bunch of points which focuses me down to what happened at Rendlesham, I believe. I think the key is lasers, radar, plasma, and spy satellites. What exactly happened, I have yet to reveal. I think I know what actually happened. And I think the clues come from the sad injuries of the US service people who were badly affected by a human experiment that went wrong, possibly unleashing forces that they weren't expecting, and that's an interesting story, or just mechanically malfunctioning in the forest in Rendlesham in 1980. But this article today starts tying together plasma, spy satellites, lasers, adaptive optics in a very interesting way. Let me explain. Kalina, a Russian ground-based laser to dazzle imaging satellites by Bart Hendricks from The Space Review. There is strong evidence that a space surveillance complex in Russia's northern Caucasians is being outfitted with a new laser system called Kalina that will target optical systems of foreign imaging satellites flying over Russian territory. Initiated in 2011, the project has suffered numerous delays, but recent Google Earth imagery shows that construction is now well underway. Kalina will complement a mobile laser dazzler known as Perisvet that has been in operation since 2019. Kalina is part of the Russian Ministry of Defense Krona Space Surveillance Complex. The Krona system, which is translated as Tree Crown, consists of a radar system and a LIDAR, which are several kilometers apart. The LIDAR, literally referred to in Russian as a Laser Optical Locator, or LOL, is situated on top of a two-kilometer-high mountain called Chapel. The Corona system was conceived back in the mid-70s, but it didn't become operational until early this century. The radar system is mainly intended to furnish the LOL or laser optical locator with accurate trajectory data to point its telescopes at targets of interest. Evidence for Kalina's counter space role comes from three independent sources. First, a bank guarantee document that calls it a functional suppression system. Secondly, a document that appeared online in 2017 with a list of planned military building projects characterized as Kalina Space Security. And thirdly, a document that calls Kalina Laser Systems for Electro-Optical Warfare. It also describes Kalina as Special Quantum Optical System. Whatever that means, who knows? Kalina, of course, uses adaptive optics. 
It is a combination of instruments, including a deformable mirror, to compensate for atmospheric turbulence and thus enhance the focusing resolution of the laser beam against its target. Russia has designed laser satellite blinding systems before and clearly attaches a great deal of importance in denying its enemies the opportunity to image its territory from space. Among its targets will be government-owned reconnaissance satellites, but also numerous commercial optical imaging satellites that are currently in orbit. And now the interesting bit for me. Besides dazzling or blinding optical satellite sensors, this system will have the potential to destroy satellite targets. And this is how it might work. You've got to understand that many optical surveillance satellites are in extremely low Earth orbit, almost within the upper reaches of our atmosphere. It has been discovered by both the West and the Soviets that if you can hit a spy satellite with a laser, you will eventually knock it out of the sky. A focus laser, or maybe a number of focused lasers, can produce a plasma discharge. Literally, a plasma torch burning a hole in the satellite as it tracks overhead. Given enough time, this will decay the very low orbit of the spy satellite, bringing it down. Today, I am not going to reveal any information or any source, but exactly that system of hitting a spy satellite with plasma energy might have just been what happened in the UK in the 1980s. Now, a lot of satellites today don't use optical wavelengths. They use synthetic aperture radar to produce imagery. So I wonder, is this new Russian laser system really an adaptive optics laser induced plasma, Earth-based space weapon. Who knows? Oh, I think that was really fascinating. I think it revealed a number of secrets or little-known stuff about how military have countermeasures for spy satellites and some of the laser technology which they are building or have already built so they can't be spied on. Has this been the kind of film that you enjoy? If it is, get the word out there. Help my channel grow by giving it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already and share with friends. Because of you, the truth is out there.